Nein. This is Doc Mountain. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time visiting this channel, I urge you to go ahead and tap on the subscribe button. And don't forget to share the video after watching. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into it. We have a problem which was actually extracted from the past paper, science paper, paper two. That's twenty twelve. The problem reads: the figure below shows the ray of light from air to water. The diagram is not shown; is not drawn to be to, to the scale. Okay, so now, what is the question? We have the normal, we have the incident ray, the refracted ray, and then we have those angles. So the first medium is air, the second medium is water. The question reads, determine the angle of incidence. So the first one is actually pretty simple. Number one. So what you need to know is that the angle of incidence is that angle that is between the incident ray and the normal. So in this case, the incident ray is this angle. The, the angle of incidence is this angle which is in between. So now what we have, this angle here is actually 90 degrees. So for us to determine the angle of incidence, let's say angle of incidence plus 20 degrees should give us 90 degrees. We collect the lactance, or we can actually bring in the additive index of this point here, which is minus 20, and then that side minus 20. So when you add this to the answer will be zero, which is equal to 90 degrees minus 20, it gives us a 70 degrees. So the angle of incidence is actually 70 degrees. Let's move on to the second problem. The same, determine the angle of refraction. So the angle of refraction is this angle here, which is in between the normal and uh, the refracted ray. However, we haven't been given this angle, which is the side, but we've been given this angle. But uh, you need to know that this angle here is actually 90 degrees. So if this one, if this one is 90, then they have also added that one, which is the angle of refraction. Then they have 131. How then do we determine the size of this angle, which is the angle of refraction? I'm going to say angle of refraction plus this 90 degrees here. Should give us the entire angle which you've been given, which is 131 degrees. So you have to have the knowledge on trigonometry and the four quadrants for you to be able to solve this. I right, said, so here we go. How then do we resolve the value of R? We add the additive inverse of 90 on both sides of the So now these two will cancel. We have the angle of refraction, which will actually equal to 41 degrees. So we have resolved that one. Let's move on to the third question. Let's then calculate the refractive index. So what's the refractive index? So the refractive, the refractive index is simply the measure of the degree to which the second medium refracts light or a light ray relative to the first medium, to the first medium. So the refractive index is actually given by Snell's law. So the refractive index is actually given by the sign of the incident ray over the sign of the refracted ray or the, the the sign of the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction so now what we need to do is we simply plug in the angle of incidence here which is uh, 
as the vanity degrees. And then the angle of refraction, which is 41 degrees. So when you punch your calculator, in most cases, let us forget. Instead of remembering to punch the function sign, I simply write the angle there. Don't you forget to do that? So when you punch that, the answer that you're going to find is 1.3. Remember, a refractive index has no units. So you have to leave it like that. So that's how you go about it. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Stay blessed.